Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have the weapon currently equipped in my character's hands here. It's a melee weapon. This is the Institute Cutter, which is an Institute sword. Laser sword. It makes laser noises. Kinda. Like a shocking noise. Not really sure what that noise is. I was trying to figure that out in my head. Like I just crafted this weapon for myself at the chemistry station. We'll show how you can do that here in just a second. But I was swinging it around just to see. And it makes an interesting noise. It's almost like the shock baton noise, that's what I'm thinking. But like, I'm also haven't used a shock baton in a long time. Obviously, we can hit the target here with it. 75 damage by default right after crafting it. Obviously, we got to look at customization and stuff. Because I believe this weapon has a lot of customization. Which is surprising, too. Because this mod weighs in at less than a megabyte. That's crazy. So, let's take a look at the weapon here, though. The Institute Cutter. It's got its own section here at the chemistry station. You can see the weapon there. It says 46 damage. It's clearly doing more because of my perks and stuff. Uh, it does require a science one, but only one adhesive, one ceramic circuitry, copper, fiber optics, plastic, and rubber. So, you know, some decently rare components, especially in the fiber optics and stuff like that. Um, but you can get that pretty early on. And if you have science, you can get this weapon kind of going for yourself. Obviously, it does the energy damage. It makes like a sword noise when you pull it out. That is interesting. Um, and obviously, it's going to use base game animations. It's not going to have anything unique to it. Most melee weapons don't, to be fair. It'd be really cool if we did. We could get some melee weapons with some cool animations. But the textures on this do look quite nice. Obviously, it looks just like an Institute weapon does. Um, it's got like a weird carrying handle there on the top of it. I'm not sure what it's really doing, right? Like, it's got... I mean, it obviously does very much look like an Institute weapon. It's got the Institute styling, that white with red combination, right? It very much looks like something the Institute would use, and why not? I mean, it's obviously fusion cell powered there. You can see that, you know, fusion cell plugged into the weapon, and it causes it to make it a, a beam, Right? But let's take a look at the customization here, because that's the big part here. How much customization can we get out of less than a megabyte of mod? Um, so we can get two upgrades here. That's essentially what we get. That's it. You know, which is you know, to be fair to most melee weapons, like you get something like I'm trying to think of even have a melee weapon in my thing. You get like a machete. Um, it doesn't even have customization usually. I, I've modded this customization into the machete, so I'm just like showing for example. So usually this is pretty typical, right? Upgrades. So we can get all the way up to 115 damage. Can also set enemies on fire. It does not say fire damage, but you need science two for that and science three. So we'll go weapons grade laser beam just to see. So they did put some blue lights on the thing. I'll tell you that much, right? There's definitely the light on that is definitely blue. The laser is now blue. Um, is it gonna set targets on fire? It did. It absolutely did. 173 damage. There's a lot more damage, and it will catch your enemies on fire. That's a cool little effect, right? I mean, not that really, because Fallout 4 handles DOT damage over time. I should guess it should be specific very poorly like poison damage fire damage stuff like that just doesn't it's not worth doing usually um but the weapons great plasma beam so obviously plasma you're going to put a plasma coil in there it's going to turn green you can kind of see that for half a second on there um ignore some armor and can set enemies on fire that's like obviously going to be the way to go obviously you need science to do for that lots of components gold nuclear material fiber optics copper circuitry ceramic and adhesive all the good stuff we're going to have a green beam here because it's a plasma beam which is kind of interesting and unique did i see that I'm going to see how my, my character's kind of holding that in third person, just to take a look at it here. Um, I know a lot of people play, you know, Fallout 4 in third person, especially when you're doing melee weapons and stuff, because you need like less like aiming accuracy and stuff, and you can kind of see your character doing all the cool swings and stuff, obviously with cool power attacks and all that. Um, but it does look cool. I, I like the color of the green and stuff there, right? Um, obviously, it's glowing, too. It's got a nice glow to it. It does The weapon does look quite nice. For, like I said, being less than a megabyte. We're still doing what it, the damage measuring target is saying is the same amount of damage um, with the fire and all that stuff. We'll obviously have to test its combat effectiveness out, but I do like this little laser sword. It's kind of a cool effect, right? Like, why I don't see why the laser Institute wouldn't make laser swords, right? I guess you, you got the guns, but the Institute's got to know their guns are pretty bad, right? Maybe they don't. They're just so hidden underneath on the ground that they don't even know that they're making bad laser guns. They're like, no, 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 it shoots lasers. They're like, nobody up uh, above ground has technology like this anymore. <laughs> and then the, they realize that their guns are shit. And so they make swords, I guess. We're going to go test it out in some combat, though, and I will see you guys when we get there. All right, everybody, pulling up Zombies Arena Arcade Mode. Obviously, like I do, this is how I test my weapons out here. This sign does look particularly nice. I have a mod that's enhanced wood textures. Look at that. And we'll get to that mod in a different video. But that does... I've looked at the sign a lot of times. We're going to go to the Super Duper Mart because we always go to the Super Duper Mart. We're going to cut up ghouls because I think that'll be a fun time. And we can really see the glow effect here. Like, it is it is quite glowing. Um, let's spawn in some ghouls. We'll just test the general effectiveness. We'll see if we actually light anything on fire. Um, and if that actually means has anything meaningful for damage. Probably not, and most of the time I expect that we're going to... Well, I mean, I guess that does, it's not doing a huge amount of damage. That fire damage ain't doing nothing, though. 
But it did, it did get the cool plasma effect, though. It is essentially operating like a plasma weapon where you can goobify people, right? Because lasers burn. So I imagine if it's the laser version, it will burn. But this, this is definitely turning people into the big plasma goo. Hey! That's, you know, fine. The Western Revolver's a great gun. It's good. I mean, no one apparently owns the DLC for this game. That's a crazy thing. I leveled up again. This is my second level up in a video recently that I can remember. Maybe even the third. Is that cool? I don't know. That's just a previous cool. <laughs> Just took the rat away too, but whatever. Um, obviously we should have to do that stuff because that stuff is how you'd actually... Yeah, see, so you get that blitz attack that does more damage. That's how you, it's you increase melee damage. It's just is, is a strategy. Really, it's about how far you are away. So you really need to get far away, blitz somebody. You know, you do that big damage. I mean, it did cut its arm off too. Like, it is cutting. It has a cool lasery effect. There's not too many melee weapons I could think of in the base game for sure. That are, are plasma cutting things for sure. I don't know. I can't think of a plasma melee weapon. I can't even think of a laser one off the top of my head. Something that does, you know, vaporize a target. Because obviously lasers turn them into ash. But plasma, the good old plasma, turns them into goop. We're gonna do another wave, just because I'm having fun goopifying things. But it is not like it's not like an amazing, overpowered level melee weapon, which is a good thing to some of you, I'm sure, right? Because like some people really dislike how overpowered things can become. And I, I, I can respect that and understand it. If you're just like one-shotting everything, the game doesn't present any challenge and then therefore it's no fun because you're not overcoming anything. And this is definitely, it fits in with, I would imagine, most other melee weapons. It's pretty powerful though, I would say, compared to like, you know, like a, a Chinese officer sword or whatever. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna get the, why can't I target that middle ghoul? There's a lot of them in here. There we go. I figured it out how to get to the ghoul that I wanted to get to. We'll just, I got five too. I wanted to test how many you know, VAT attacks I get. And I, this is like with maximum API, very high agility, all that stuff. I want to see how many I can get through with one swing. Or with one big volley. There's five ghouls in there, right? Kind of tore them all up. The legendary obviously lives through it. And then, you know, in in base non-VAT attacks, it is taking quite a bit of hits to take down a legendary. But, I mean, I did turn him into goo. That is a big, this is just a big mess. It's a big, it's a big mess pile. You can't, <laughs> the resilient laser is fine. I mean, it's fine. I'll take it. I take every legendary in the videos, but I shouldn't because I just like always ends up making my inventory too full. But you know, it is what it is, you guys. I guess it's a cool laser sword though. Institute cutter. It's a good weapon. I do like the plasma effect more than I like the probably the laser effect. But I'm always like plasma more than lasers in every Fallout game, even though you know it shoots slower. But yeah, it's. I mean, it's a pretty basic idea. Like I said, less than a megabyte though. So it's like really simple to just have in your game. This is the Institute's version of what a melee weapon would be. I've covered other mods similarly, like Institute SMGs, all the kinds of Institute weaponry, giving them more of a comprehensive arsenal. And obviously, I showed finding it at the chemistry station. You obviously will find this out on Sense, and Sense will attack you with it, and you can get attempted to turn into plasma goo by the Sense. You know, that would be, you know, something sketchy to fight. It wouldn't feel good to be on fire either, right? Like, because that's what the, if the fire effects. The fire effect is most annoying when it applies, when it's being applied to you, because then it makes your screen kind of all, like your HUD gets all fucked up and you can't see. Right, it doesn't, it's not even the damage over time, it's just the, the visibility effect of being on fire. But it's a cool little Institute themed. It does fit that theme very well. Very cool little melee weapon. So you guys let me know what you think of this in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to check out this mod for yourselves, make sure to check out the top link in the description. There'll be a link there to the Bethesda.net page the Nexus mod page. You can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so that way you can check out more videos from me and pretty much other than that. You guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.